Welcome to Computer Specialist's YouTube Repair Channel. Um, here we have a Dell Inspiron 17 3000 series. It's a 3793 to be exact. Uh, I'll give you a little history about these machines and majority of these machines that come in our shop all the time. Comes with a one terabyte uh, spindle drive. Um, basically, we see these drives go bad a lot. Uh, they basically the machine will slow down and run like a 20 year old machine. Um, why some of them don't still, you know, even the newer models don't come with solid state drives, I don't know. But today we're going to show you how to put in uh, a crucial uh, 250 gigabyte MX500 drive. Um, these are good drives. Uh, when you buy drives, do not cheap out for five ten dollars. You can lose all your data, and you would guarantee to have a disaster within a year or two. Uh, we learned this, you know, shortly after solid states were out, and I refuse to buy any of those cheaper drives. Um, but with that being said, um, I'm going to show you. So this is the Dell 17 inch machine. Um, I'm going to fire it up. And just kind of show you how you can actually, if you have one of these, you can check to see what um what you actually have currently in your machine uh so f2 gets you into the bios on this machine um if you see up top here um there's the model so it's a 3793 um this machine has eight gig of memory to find the hard drive size um you are basically going to go down um and you're going to go into the post behavior here um which they're also going to show you uh which we'll get into before um and if you look at here it's got lots of options in here um basically it's got the performance thing on there it's got secure boot um security so if you go through the security tabs you'll also see there um for the most part you leave all that you know we're going to shoot another video showing you how to reload it but uh with that being said uh so there you have it so there is um the one terabyte drive that's in here um so that's going to come out uh we basically booted up i'm not going to waste no time in the video there because it is so slow but uh you know basically you, you know when you work on enough of these you know so what you want to do is you want to make sure it's completely off naturally uh you do anything uh this one's not as easy as the old dells but pretty straightforward with uh Pulling the bottom off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off. I believe it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen screws on here. Um, these screws on this model are pretty much all the same. So I'm not gonna waste no time with a mag magnet setup with the screws. But basically, turn these out. Um, these ones. You'll notice the two here are going to be smaller. Um, those hold in the CD-ROM. So once you get that, you can just basically slide out the CD-ROM. And uh, if you notice on this model, um, right here you'll see two silver screws. Uh, those need to come out too. Those do hold the bezel on. Bezel on. Some machines are different than others. Uh, some have three. Uh, you can always tell if one's been worked on when they're stripped out. The customers don't have this small enough screwdriver. Uh, been there and done that back in the day. But I got a real screwdriver kit. Um, these back screws, uh, a lot of times they won't come out. Um, on some of the newer Dells, they, for some odd reason, they those ones don't come out. They stay in there. And all the other ones come out. But uh, you know, don't go too crazy trying to pull them out. Uh, just let them sit in there if they're not coming all the way out. But that's pretty much it. So. As you can see, you hear you hear that where it's where it's doing that. That's pretty much. The, so now the next thing with these. So carefully open it up. Um, this model doesn't have too much with the hinges, but we've seen ones that are really bad. What you want to do here is you want to get uh, try to get this to the right angle here. You want to basically get this tar pick or whatever you know if you have the fix it kit with the thing. You want to get that inside to here. Basically, you're gonna just work around. So you see right there in that little crack right there so right there you get it right in there and you work around um when i say to people new to doing this uh just basically take your time um you know it's one of those ones where it's the first time you're doing it not going to be easy um some are different uh some come off easy some fight with us and we've been doing this for years uh but basically the rule of thumb is uh 
you shouldn't have to be too crazy so if you're trying on it and it's not coming off uh you probably missed a screw uh i do it all the time <laughs> so what you want to do on the edge here oh i'm gonna try to get the camera in there for you there so if you look right there uh that's where that screw didn't come out uh you want to kind of wiggle this get it past the screen right there and then the rest usually comes right off like that once again uh that was a lucky pull off uh usually don't come off that easy like that but uh this one did um so what i'm gonna do same thing spin it around this one's pretty much off but work on the other side um sometimes you gotta go three or four times you know to actually get it you know to get it to come off but basically once it comes off as you can see there's no real thing you're gonna be doing there you're just gonna basically take this part off and put it off to the side uh, a little bit of advice don't put it on the ground where you can step on it um, now once you get it here what i like to do is uh with your fingers hold down here by the hinges and slowly shut it uh once the, the bottles reinforce these hinges on all these new dells and the hps are horrific so you want to get it down you know shut it down slowly and get right there so here is the drive so this is a one terabyte um if you can see on the drive right here um basically uh on this particular setup um you got regular drive and then you don't have any other options um some of these the reason why i'm bringing this up some of these will actually have um m.2 um port you know the older styles uh you know um oh i stand corrected actually this does have um m.2 i mean this, this particular model we're just going to shoot the video with the two and a half but see right here so kind of hidden right here um there is an nvme uh as you can see they even labeled the ssd nice but you can see there's that one little hump right there basically that's where the nvme drive so if you're going to do this um you know and you want to make this even better um you could put one in i'm probably going to actually restart shoot another video on there doing the uh nvme because this is a good model to actually do it on so uh you know if, by the time you watch this video probably have the other video up there uh, but for now we're going to replace this one um some people ask is there a way to know if that's in there um sometimes you can do research uh you know we've worked on models that are similar and they have revisions of the motherboards where they add this so um the golden rule is if you got one of these at home and you're not sure pull the bottom off before you order a drive um you definitely want to put a drive in here uh the mvme to because of the speed and the pricing is about the same um one thing that i should point out is cloning uh if you're planning on cloning your data over and you have one of these drive cloning here it's a lot more trickier sometimes uh very hard to do uh due to the to boot boot ups and and the bootstraps and all that so basically you know um if you want the foolproof way you replace the drive that's in there um you can do a fresh reload go with the nvme but as you can see so these four screws came out um this drive right here is um basically on on this ribbon right here and what i like to do is get uh this thing right here and don't put too much pressure just wiggle it loose um you don't want to pull too much on here as this ribbon goes underneath here and you can cause you know a little damage at this point um we'll open up the solid state drive um this solid state drive comes with an adapter not all of them come with it uh, i'll show you in a second all right so this one comes with an adapter uh this adapter is not needed on 90 percent of the laptop but some of the laptops we have where you slide the drive in and stuff like that um this helps the spacing because the solid state is a little bit thinner than some of the older style traditional drives uh so if you have that in there and you you're with this particular model you don't need it uh one of the things i like to do is um simply you know if there's any confusion which way this goes in uh Set it down, tip for tap. Uh, there's going to be four screws on the back of this. I do is uh, set them right here for right now because you're going to be using them in two seconds. Um, what I like to do is basically get down to where you're going to get the last screw. All right, you're going to get it right here, and you're going to basically leave it the same way. You know, so when you put it in, there's no, you can't actually install them backwards, and you know, and then you're going to 
you'll know when you go to slide it back in and it doesn't fit. So all I do is just pop this off right here. You see the small SATA, the small power side. One's bigger than the other, basically it's simple. Over there, right onto there. Um, the original drive off to the side, once again, you know, somewhere where you won't knock it off. Um, we're gonna go. One screw. Two screws. Um, these screws you don't don't have to put in too crazy. Uh, you know, snug them in. They will strip on some of these things. Uh, you know, just give them a little tight. There's no major weight or anything being put on these things, so it's not like you have to torque them in there with a uh, super iron. So once again, you're gonna go over. You're just gonna wiggle this on. Um, don't have to be too much force. You know, it's enough to get it on there like that. And you set it down. These have little pilot holes, so basically right there to help get it on there. Uh, one thing you do want to do is you want to make sure when you do get on here, uh, look in the holes, make sure they're clear, make sure you didn't accidentally pinch a ribbon or something in there. Um, like I said, most of these advice that we give out, we've done before. So, so uh, with that being said, you know, take your time on there. Uh, you're gonna put the same four screws back in. Um, what I like to do is, um, you know, start on a, one or two turns. You get them all in. Uh, reason being, sometimes there's a little lineup issue. If you torque the one down and it's not lined up properly, you, you know. The goal with these is you shouldn't have to, these screws should go in pretty clear. You know, you shouldn't have to, uh, if they feel like they're going in weird, they're probably going in crooked or you're hitting something, um, back them back out. But for the most part, they should go in very freely because they came out the same way. Well, as you can see, this one's fighting me a little. So basically, back it out, wiggle it around, right in. Once you get to the last one, this one you can now torque down. Same thing with these. Nothing crazy. These mounts are very, you know, they're made good, but they're not made good to torque down. So at this point, we're here. Um, uh, you know, point out something for, you know, this is basically for hard drive replacement. But if you wanted to upgrade this at 8 gig of memory, uh, once again, recommendation, pop this out, go on eBay. You could probably match it up with almost an exact one. You could pick them up pretty cheap, throw another eight in here, you up to 16 gig. Um, this particular cu customer is just using it for email, basic use. So, uh, you know, uh, these member sticks range from, you know, depends on what size you want to go 20 to $80. Um, you know, customer wasn't, didn't want to do it. And basically that's our recommendation. Uh, before I put it back together, uh, something else I like to do, you got these pin screws over here. Uh, they come loose over the thing. Uh, that one was a little loose, you know. Tighten them down. These you can give a little torque to because they are made, you know, the mounts are metal on here. And they are made to torque, torque down. Uh, each one of these did turn a little bit. Uh, all that helps in there. So at this point, you want to double check, make sure this is plugged in, make sure you didn't unplug anything. We had nothing else to do on here. So that's that. Um, so now we're going to go put the bottom back on. So once again, uh, these, I usually start from the side over here. You have majority of USB ports, all that. So, usually try to get it in over those first. Get it around the edge right there. Um, you know, get it on there where you can kind of make sure everything's on. Once that goes on, everything else should pretty much fall into place. Yeah. You hear it snapping. So, what you want to do is you want to snap as much as you can on. Uh, once again, nothing should go on. As you notice, these were the screws in the back here that wouldn't come off. So I would advise to put, especially the hinge screws in first. Uh, those are the two that will help line up the rest of them. Um, if you do have the, and I wasn't using it for this particular job, but if you do have the magnet, it is good. one of the good things with the magnet is when you got to this part, um, you would notice that, you know, you would say, oh, there's uh, CD-ROM screws, and you would see the two flat head that are really flat. Um, silver screws. Um, it's really important to have those on there. All these help hold the machine together slash the hinges. Um, I put a lot of these back together and forgot those screws. Uh, so this particular one's not not a whole lot of screws to be worried about. So there. Now slide the CD-ROM in. Uh, make sure the holes line up. Um, once again, if you can't see these lined up, so, sometimes you pushed it in too far and sometimes you didn't push it enough. Um, Back it out, push it back in, and you know, don't force the screws in, but they should go in that easy. So at this point, uh, you know, go around with the screws. This particular model, you don't have to go in any set order. Uh, you know, 
for the for argument's sake on this one, I'm just going to go around uh, so you can actually see them being put in. And, uh, and basically, to kill some time right now, we're putting these screws in. So, so here's a here's one that's not going in. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take it out, and sometimes just a max matter of just getting it in there, wiggle it around a little bit. I like to go around. I know this one I didn't put in. This was one that wouldn't come out with the casing. And these two, too. So another good thing to, you know, once you're all set, is just to kind of go around and just give them all slight torque. You know, make sure you get them all. And forget one. Especially with these these ones here that are built into the bottom of the case. Um, so basically, um, what I was saying before, before I get a little trouble with that screw, Basically, uh, that's that. Um, you know, naturally, there's no operating system on here. There's no clone in this video. I'm not gonna go through that because we're shooting other videos to show you how to clone your machine. Uh, the cloning of the machines are not specific to the model, so so this was basically just to show you for people out there um, how to upgrade, what kind of options you have. Like I said, uh, now that I know this has an NVMe, I will shoot another video shortly after this, um, showing you how to put that drive in, um, and uh, you know. It's gonna be pretty much the same video, <laughs> my staff, but uh, you know, for for people that might want to see it, um, you know, hop on there and check that out. But that is your uh, Dell Inspiron 173793 hard drive replacement. Uh, feel free to subscribe to us. Um, if you got a channel and you know, and you subscribe to us, uh, shoot us a comment or message. We'll we'll sub you back. Have a good day.